This is a programming video for the IEM 3000 series. In this video, the meter we will be programming is the IEM 3255 energy meter. At the front of the meter, you have three navigation buttons. And beneath, there are your voltage connection, current connections, and above are your connections for digital inputs or outputs. This is the RS-485 port that can be used if Modbus is required. Another feature to this meter is the small wiring diagram instruction beneath the power and voltage connections cover. When mounting the meter on DIN rail, there are two yellow clips on the back that if you push in, clip the meter in place. To identify whether the meter you have is a MID meter, if you turn it over to the top, there will be a box that says M, which stands for MID, and then two digits, which represent the year it was manufactured. In this case, 14, for 2014. If the meter is not MID certified, it will not have this box. Once the meter is powered up, first of all, you'll need to set the date and time. To set this, press OK, input the password. As default, with this range of meters, it's 0010. So press OK to scroll across and then down to change the value. To change the date, press the down button to change the value. Once you've selected the appropriate value, press OK to scroll across and then press OK. To change the time, press down to change the value and OK to scroll across. Then press OK to save the settings. Once you've set the date and time, you are directed to the main summary page. To view the different values and measurements, scroll down with the down arrow. To see volts and amps, press OK. To change the password, press OK, then press the down arrow to set the password you require. This password allows you to access the setup page. We'll keep this at default 0010. What we're going to do now is set the meter up, set the wiring system, CT ratio, and then the Modbus address. If the Modbus port is not being used, all you need to do is set the time, date and wiring system. To get the setup menu, hold down OK and ESC for three seconds. You come to the password page. The default password for these meters is 0010. Once you've inputted the password, you come across the access counter screen which identifies how many times you've accessed the setup. To change the wiring, press OK. Then scroll down with the down arrow. You see the different wiring systems. Three phase, four wire, one phase, two wire, and three phase, three wire. We'll keep this one at one phase, two wire. To save, press OK. And OK to save changes. To change the CT ratio, press OK. Change the secondary CT to either 1 amp or 5. We'll keep this one at 5. Press OK. Now we can set the primary CT ratio, which we'll set at 125 amps. To change the frequency, Press OK and then the down arrow to change to either 50 or 60 Hz and then OK to save the changes. 
To set the Modbus address for the meter, scroll down to Communication, press OK, and then change the slave address or Modbus address. To change these, press OK. The board rate. To change that, press the down arrow, then OK. Then the parity. This can be even, odd, or no parity. We'll keep this as even. Then press OK. To save the changes we've just entered to the wiring system, CT ratio, and Modbus address, scroll down until you get to Exit Configuration. Press OK and then the changes have been saved. Programming complete. With all this set up, the meter is now ready to be used.